today we're going to be going through and replacing the batteries for the Sony XM4s. So take this part off here first. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to take your heat gun and you're going to heat up the whole thing and then we're going to squeeze and put a little bit of pressure this way which is going to make it pop a little bit and then we'll go this way press a little bit and you'll start to see the seam pop. As that pops we'll then take our little pry tool and work our way around and it should pop right open. So let's do that. So you can see there that it's starting to come apart there. So now we're going to get our pry tool, work it into the crack, and then feed our way around. Yeah, might need a little bit more. There we go. As you can see, I'm just going to gently work your way around. You want to push too hard because there are ribbon wires in there. And if you push hard, you will cut them. Nice little crack. You can see your little ribbon wires. So right here, we're going to pop, gently pop off this one right here. So put your little tool in there. Gently pry that off. So now you have the two pieces. So this top piece here, you can just set that off to the side. This bottom piece here, we're going to want to flip up this little black piece and this is going to unlock this ribbon cord so that way we can take this piece off here so let's gently pop that little black piece up so you can see that black piece is sticking up now you pop that off now you can very gently pull this ribbon wire right there pull that ribbon wire out all right so that little wire right there that has the silver. That's what you want to take off. So you can very gently pull it out. You can use tweezers and just gently wiggle it. So it comes out. Next thing is you have this wire out of the way. This board right here, we need to take this board right here off. So we'll use our heat gun, apply some heat to this because this board is stickied to the top of the battery you can see right there. Well, it's the bottom of the battery, but from this point of view it looks like the top. So let's grab our heat gun. Use our pry tool here. Try and save the stickiness and keep it on the board. So as you can see here, we have a Zenipower Z55 lithium ion 3.85 volt, 0.29 watt hour. The new battery that's coming in. Focus is also 
a Zenipower Z55H 3.8 2.9. So same thing. Um, once we get it out, we'll test these with a voltmeter so you can see what the difference looks like between the two. You go right under here since we heated it up. You should be able to uh, gently pry it out. There is a little bit of stickiness down there, so be gentle. The other thing I meant, didn't mention beforehand, um, I took these out of the case and let them sit for a day or a couple days, so they would fully drain, so the batteries are depleted. Now, this one is our new one. So, new one old one. So let's start with the one that was already in there. So this one is testing at 3.68 volts. So not bad. Um, I had two earbuds. The one earbud was testing dramatically lower. So if I grab that battery The one was only holding a charge for like maybe an hour tops. Test this one. 2.9 and change. So this is the one that was really bad. The other one was actually not too bad. It actually had some decent life probably left in it. But while I'm taking out the one, I'm going to take out the other one and just replace them both with both brand new batteries of the exact same spec. So let's go ahead and test our new one that we just got and see how this one tests so 3.83 so looking better there <clears throat> should go back to the original battery life like we had when these things were brand new where you could easily get six to ten hours out of there depending on how loud your volume is what you have your equalizer at, do you have noise canceling on, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, you used to get a solid eight hours out of there, or more, most of the time. So, going down to one hour is a big difference. So, swap these guys out. Turn this off now. Take this out of here. Now, we're going to want to put this battery... back into here. So you see there's a little bit of stickiness there. There's obviously the stickiness on this board. So that little pin is what is going to contact this side, the negative side of the battery. I believe that's the negative side. And then the top side here is actually going to be face down. So it's going to be sitting like this with the little, the curvy recess part that has all the writing. That's going to be sticking up in the air. And the side that has no writing on it is going to be the part that's sitting down. So let's put this back in the case. Now it will snap like that because there is the magnet in there. Remember to attach into the case. And press that in. Not use our fingers, so hopefully you don't get any uh, corrosion-y stuff on there. So that battery's in there now. Now we're going to take this, and you see how it has that curve? You want that curve to be lined up with this. So that way your contact point should be, you know, near the center point there. Yeah, it is the negative. That's right there. All right, so get this ribbon cable out of the way. There you go, so like that. Gently press on it with the plastic. Gentle. Don't want to break anything. Now, we have to take this ribbon cord and stick it back into there. So it's gonna stick in like that. Once that's in, we're then going to take that little black tab right there and snap it down. So we'll take our little ribbon cord here. See if we can gently line it up. Okay, so it looks like it's in. Then we can snap that little black piece down. 
So the little black piece is snapped down now, right there. Ribbon cord is in. Okay. Now we're going to take the top part of the case here, which it's in that orientation. By the way, when you're looking at the battery, it'll look like the battery is um, kind of slanted and not sitting in it flat. The battery is actually parallel with this part. So this is flat and this is flat. The case, though, is on a little bit of a slant like this. So your battery should be parallel with this flat part here. All right, we'll take this. We will reconnect this ribbon cable. All right, so that snaps back into place here. Now just to do a quick test. Light comes on. Gently take it back out of here. See if it plays in our ear. Nice. So I put it in. It says battery about 50%. So you can see um, the charge on this should be quite solid at 2. Point, or excuse me, 3. Point, what was it? 8 volts or something like that. It's saying 50%. So nice new battery. Definitely should have some much better charge in there. Next step we're going to do is we're going to take some of the glue that came in our kit. We're going to puncture a hole in here. Some E8000 where it's sticky and it holds it together, but it's not a, uh, a fully permanent glue. We're going to take some of this. We will puncture a little hole in the top. And then just put a tiny, tiny, see so this little applicator here. We're just going to put a tiny, tiny ring all the way around. Now there is a gasket in there, should have showed this before. So you can see the little black O-ring that goes around, which will help. But you also want to make sure it doesn't just pop open. So we're going to put just a tiny little bead of glue all the way around there. And then we'll um, snap it back together. All right, so let me get the glue set up. So it comes with this little razor here. So the glue in the kit is not the best applicator. Ah. Might be worth getting a different one. I mean, this works, but definitely could be much better applicator. All right. So let's take this. Snap it back together all the way around. Get a paper towel and clean this up. So, just using a damp wipe here. Just to wipe up and clean up that glue. Make sure it stays all nice and squeezed together. Let that sit and dry for a little bit. Put it back in the case to charge and call it a day. You can take your ear tip, put your ear tip back on it, charging. Very nice. So I'll do that to the other tip there. I hope that was helpful for everyone on how to replace the battery. Pretty easy. Uh, realistically, if you weren't doing this and trying to videotape it and work around a camera, you could probably do it in, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to do both earpieces. It's pretty fast. I will put a link to the specific kit that I used uh, in the description. And uh, 
would be nice obviously if the batteries were a little bit longer lasting this one though lasted me about i want to say two years maybe a tad bit over i got them when they first came out when was that 2020 2021 somewhere around there um and used them quite a lot i mean <laughs> almost every day so they did get a lot of use out of them but um overall i would say that the replacement is not that difficult it's pretty easy and um yeah looks uh i think basically just like it did when it came out of the factory so hope that helps and uh till next time bye